Hello and welcome to Spires on Fire. Today we're talking about C21, specifically the amendment proposed in, within it the last uh, couple weeks. There's been a lot of uproar over it. And uh, this for me is where it doesn't make any sense. So on the table, I have two hunting rounds, we'll say. So one is a 22 long rifle and the other is a 270. So you can clearly see the difference between these two magazines. The 270 belongs to my Remington uh, 783, which is an awesome gun for deer hunting. Now this round is huge, but because this magazine holds, let's see, one, two, three, four. Four rounds in that guy, of this guy. It's a big bullet. Compared to this magazine that is out of my 1975 CIL bolt action rifle, that my father purchased in 1975, the year I was born, at a hardware store for varmint control around the farm, okay? He passed it down to me. Now this magazine holds one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh-oh, six rounds of 22 long rifle. Man, look at the size of that thing. All right, so here's what we're talking about. This is where it falls apart for, for me. In the amendment, the liberals are stating any firearm capable of accepting a magazine that is capable of holding more than five rounds will become a prohibited item Therefore, and any firearm that is capable of accepting such a magazine will become a prohibited firearm. Meaning the 22 caliber varmint rifle that my father purchased when I was zero years old, it's a traditional Woodstock bolt action hunting rifle. It's now prohibited but this 270 that's used all around Canada to take down deer and other large game because the magazine holds four rounds which is under the five rounds proposed it's legal they're both bolt action hunting rifles they're not or ever have never been assault style military grade weapons. I, I just don't see where this extra one round of 22 caliber ammunition is a breaking point in keeping Canadians safe on our streets. I, I'd love to hear your comments. I don't, I don't get it. Anyway, I say no to Bill C-21 and I say no to the amendments proposed. And it looks like all the opposition parties are leaning that way as well, especially the indigenous populations. They've all unanimously voted across this country to say no. And Alberta, well, they're just making up their own rules as they go, which is crazy, but kind of awesome at the same time, I guess. So anyway... That's it. I don't understand. Someone explain it to me.